All right, this is a test. We are testing. Um, if you can hear us, if anybody could very quickly just put in the chat, yes. Uh, so we are getting started here, almost, almost getting started. So if, if you can hear us, be sure to say hello, please, in the chat room, say yes, that you can hear us. And uh, we'll get started now in a second. So do confirm, please, if you can hear us. Yes, we did get a yes. Thank you very much. All right. So just give us uh, one more minute here as we continue finish setting up. And uh, we'll get started. We're excited for this game. Who's going to be the winner? You know what? I'm going to change this to 105. We're starting at 105. Sorry for the delay. Almost there. Two more minutes to go. All right. 105. We're going to get started now in a second. This is going to be... Uh, what are we playing today? We are going to be playing a 50... 51 game. No, 40. Wait, 40 or 50? Uh... 50. 51 game. Um, both 1 to 2 heroes and 1 to 2 monster or a war machine. So, in a second, here I'm going to take you through the armies and we're going to get started. So, be sure to say hello if you're watching. Say hello in the chat room. This is the one of the big pluses here of doing live games is the interaction. Uh, we could do battle reports on YouTube, but then you don't get the interaction one-on-one. -on -one, so do let us know what you're thinking. We are finishing up here the setup, grabbing the dice, making sure we both have enough dice. Are you going to play with the red or the silver? Red. There we go. I'm going to go with the silver. And now we're finishing up here. And let me see if there's anything else that we're missing. Um, so let me take you a little bit through the armies before we get started. So I'm going to pick up the camera. There we go. So first here, let me try to zoom out a little bit. Uh, the camera is just getting used to the, the light. So let me take out the game starts. Hold on. I'm going to just stay with me for one second. All right, there we go. So that is out. So it's time to get the game started here. And I'm kind of zooming out real quick to give you a quick look of the armies. And let's start here with the dwarf side. On the dwarf side, we have... I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see. Right here, what you're looking at is one dwarf cannon and one gr grudge thrower with Grim Burluxon as one of the heroes right in the middle. And by being one inch apart from them, um, they both will get to reroll or throw two stones. Right over here, a unit of five, a small unit of five iron breakers with full command. Here we go with a unit of ten thunderers with shields and full command. Moving a little bit more to the right. And we have a unit of 10 Iron Drakes with full command and the Troll Hammer Torpedo. And right back here, we have a Rune Lord. And that is the Dwarf Army. And that is 49, actually. 49 wounds worth of Dwarves. And let's switch to the other side. So we're going to just turn the camera around a little bit. And what do we have? We have Sylvaneth. Let's start right over here. First, Tree Lord Ancient. Semi painted. We're still um, finishing him up. To his left, Durthu. So these two units right there are already 24 wounds. So that's half, half of our army is on them alone. We move on one more. 
and we have a unit of three Trican, four wounds each, and last but not least, right over there, a unit of 14, right, yeah, 14 Dryads, with the Nymph as well, and that is 50 wounds of Sylvaneth. For the table, we're playing on a 3x3 table, a small table. What we're going to do, and this is important for everybody watching, is that this, uh, we have a little bit of scenery, and we're going to use it. These two um, trees are actually going to be Sylvaneth Woods. So these are not normal trees, but instead are Sylvaneth Woods. What that means is... Sylvaneth army is going to get a, a, a few extras if they fight close to them. And the two big tree lords, or the tree lord and Durthu, can transport from one to the other with little to no issue. And so that is the army. That is um, two armies, actually, the battlefield. I'm kind of moving it around a little bit to show you. There is a dwarf army. And we're getting ready here to get started. So if you have any questions about the army that you see, if you have any questions about the armies, about the map, about the table, uh, this will be a good time. Otherwise, I'm going to put down the camera for just one second. Start grabbing the dice. There's one uh, set of dice. And we're going to get started. So any questions you have, let us know. This is a live tabletop game on Twitch. Dwarves versus Sylvaneth. So these are two order armies going at each other. And now we're going to get ready to get started. So here comes the camera down for just one minute. And let us know if you have any questions about this or anything else. All right, we're going to get started. So let's see. Let's see here. So um, as I, I'm going to go ahead and show and pan the camera a little bit. So basically the main thing here is that we, let me see. So Sylvanith only have four units that they were had to put down while the dwarves have several more units. So Sylvaneth get to choose if they want to go first or second. And we are going to actually choose to go first. Do we want to go first? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go first and we're going to get this started. So I am going to also be... Oops, sorry for the camera move there. I'm also going to be telling you a little bit about um, the rules for those that are have not played a lot of Age of Sigmar, so if some of the stuff that you might hear is going to be repetitive, but this is only for those who join us after after the beginning. So in Age of Sigmar, um, and we did a lot of this off camera so that to not delay the game, so we rolled for the scenery, w how many woods we would have, we got one on each side, we put down the... Uh, hold on one second... I'm going to just put the camera down for a second. All right. Sorry for that. All right. So I'm pick, picking it back up. So we rolled for the scenery. Um, we rolled for who would start deploying, and the Sylvanith got uh, the higher roll. So we're getting ready to get started. So if you remember, in every Age of Sigmar game, we have six phases. Hero phase, movement phase, shooting phase, combat phase. Oh, sorry, charge phase, combat phase, and battle shock phase. So we're going to get started with our hero phase. And our hero is Dorthu. Dorthu can technically use a, an ability to summon more... Um, Sylvaneth Woods, but I, I just don't have the scenery to do so, so we are not going to do that. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is just simply give um, our Dryads over there, our com with our general ability of um, 
inspiring presence. Wow, I couldn't remember. Inspiring presence on the Dryads. That means uh, though they do not need to take Battle Shock. So we move on to to the hero phase here. And let me go ahead and pre-measure. Let me have that real quick. How far are we from... I am over 18 inches here from um, from anybody. So our Tree Lord Ancient cannot do any kind of bolt. So what we're going to do is give the Tree Kin a Tree Kin on a 5+. plus. We're going to go ahead and give him... Um, we need 5 plus on 2 dices to give a Mystic Shield. Can we get it? Let's see. And we get a 6. And can you... I don't know if... Can you guys see... Show you there. So that's a six. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that's a six, and we do get Mystic Shield. And so the Treekin are going to be able to um, have a six plus ward. And that is going to be it. Let me see, is that going to be it? Yes, that is going to be it for our uh, hero phase. So we're going to go on to movement for our movement phase. Um. I'm just going to go ahead and move, let me check the movement of our Tree Lord and Durthu. So Durthu moves 5 and our Tree Man Ancient moves 5 as well. So that's going to be enough to just put them right in here, which is what we're going to do. And that way they're both inside and they get the cover, the cover bonus. So that is 1 plus save. Or plus one save, which in their case, they have a three plus save, so now they have a two plus save. We're going to move over to the Treekin, and the Treekin have, let me confirm their move, because this is a new army for us, so we don't know everything by hand. So that's uh, six, they move six, and if you can see, we are within six, so we're just going to be able to move right in here as well. And see that so we moved our tree kin into the force as well that means they have a four plus that's going to turn into a three plus save and last but not least we're going to try to run our dryads to this forest right over here so that's for that we will need that's kind of pre-measure a little bit so we are we're going to need a 12 their uh, move is 7, so we need at least a 5 on this one to see if we can get to the um, to the forest. Do we get a 5? No, we get a 2. So that means they're going to move a total of 9. So let's start moving here. I'm trying to show you to the best of my ability. So we're moving 9. I'm moving everybody nine, and I'm getting a little bit of help here. It's, it's tougher to do this with uh, just one hand. So we're moving nine up. And that is going to be it for our movement phase. Now we go on to our shooting phase. And are we within 18? Let's see. Are we within 18 here of anybody? We are not. So no shooting for me. There are no charges for me either. And that's going to be it for um, Sylvaneth turn 1. So just a quick recap. Three of our units are in the forest, which means they get a, a cover bonus. And uh, our Dryads did not make it to the forest, but they are a unit of 14, which means they're going to get a little extra uh, save anyway. They have Inspiring Presence, so they don't run, and our tree can have uh, Mystic Shield. That is it for turn one. Please let me know if you have any questions about what we just did for turn one for the Dryads. I mean, for the Sylvaneth. All right. All right, so we're going to move on to turn one for the Dwarves. And here we have the army of the dwarves. So hero face, we have uh, our rune lord and our um, grim Berluxen right there that I'm pointing towards. So in, uh, if, if you remember from Wednesday, the rune lord on the hero face 
can choose to on a 2 plus to give somebody minus 1 rend or give a shield. Which one are we going to choose? So, so if you remember, so minus 1 rend means, or plus 1 rend in a way, means that um, your units will be able to get uh, to shoot harder per se or hit harder or it's going to be a shield. We're going to do hitting harder. Hitting harder on? With the grudge thrower. Very well. We need a 2 plus on a dice. Let's see if we get it. She, she's going to use uh, red and she gets a 6. So she does get it. So that means uh, the grudge thrower is going to have a plus. Uh, actually, oof, this is going to hurt. Let, let me just confirm. I think they have already a minus 2 rend. So with an extra one, that would be minus 3 rend. So I'm just checking real quick. Grudge Thrower have minus 2 rend. So with that, this Grudge Thrower now has minus 3 rend, which is huge. Um, Alright, so that is, uh, that is that. And is that it for Hero Phase? I think it is. So let's go on to the Movement Phase. Are you going to move? Nobody's moving. What's up, Thunderflux? Thank you for joining the, the feed. We are playing live tabletop game here of Dwarves versus Sylvaneth. And we're just in turn one. So uh, are you going to move? They're not going to move, saying that she's not going to move her, her army. So we go on to the shooting phase. Now let's pre-measure a little bit and see who is within. Oh, actually, I've, I, I almost forgot. Remember that a grid, uh, Grimber Luxon can give Thunders a 22-inch range. So our, her Thunders are going to have a 22-inch range. Um, so let's see. Let, I'm going to pre-measure here and see, can the Thunders shoot at anything? Yes, they can. And I'm trying to show you here. That's 22 inches. So she can shoot... She can shoot at the, whoops, at the dryads, at the treekin, or even probably at. She can shoot at anything with the thunderers. Let's see here. The um, iron drakes have an 18-inch range, so if you can see that, can they shoot at anything? They can probably shoot at the dryads and at the treekin. And obviously these two, the Grudge Throw and the Cannon, have a much higher um, range. So they are not a problem. So basically she can shoot with everything. So who do you want to show? Where do you want to start? We're going to start here. And the Tree Lord Ancient or Durthu? Durthu. All right. So she's going to go after Durthu. And I don't know if you guys can hear her because the microphone is on me. So let, let me know if you can. Otherwise, I'm just going to repeat everything she says. So, she's going to go with the Grudge Thrower. Grudge Thrower is uh, within one inch here of Grimber Lux, and that means she can shoot two rocks instead of one. Oh, and I forgot also, you, um, the, the Hatred. So, you can choose one of the units there and to hate the Durthu. Of course, she's going to choose Durthu. So, Durthu is hated, so that means the Grudge Thrower can re-roll for hit and re-roll for wound as well. Going to hit on three pluses. Yeah, 3 plus, 3 plus, minus 3 rend. Let me say. Thank you, Thunderflux. I'll, I'll repeat everything anyway. So if you have, if there are any questions, I will, I'll repeat everything she says regardless. So, uh, she's going to go with the Grudge Thrower right here against Durthu. That is 2 dice. She needs 3 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound. And let's see if we get it. So we get one three and a two, but she can reroll because she hates Durthu. And she gets both. Wow, that hurts. So now three plus two wound, rerollable as well because of hatred. Or vengeance, I don't know what it is. So it's a two and a two. So that means she has to reroll both. Is she gonna get any damage done here on Durthu? Ooh, she gets a five and a six. And it's funny, you, you guys should have seen it. As soon as the five and six happened, she kinda went like yes. So 5 and 6, so that means both wound. Now let's see. Um, Durthu has usually a 3 plus save. Because he's in cover, I'm going to show Durthu right there. Because Durthu is in cover, that means he gets a 2 plus save. But she has a minus 3 rend, huge. So minus 2 becomes a 5 plus save. So I'm going to grab her dice. 
And we're going to go, I, I'm going to need two fives here to avoid any damage. Here we go, five plus save now. Oh, one and two. So that means no saves. Each one does three damage. So immediately, immediately, Durthu goes down to six wounds. From 12. Wow. I'm going to put the dice right there. If you guys can see it. So see, he has already six wounds. Huge to get the game started. So where are we going to go next? We have the cannon. We have the uh, thunderers. And the iron drakes. Is the cannon yeah. Not yeah. 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 Okay, so the cannon now is going to go for Durthu. We're in deep trouble now. So she's going to be able to um, throw two cannonballs. Two cannonballs. Going to hit on fours. We need two fours here. And she can reroll. She doesn't get them. So let's see. Fuck. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead now. And we're going to do uh, two pluses to hit. Ooh, a five and a three. So Durthu is in big trouble now. Huge trouble for Durthu. So again, he had a three plus save. Going to a two plus because he's in cover. And the cannon has minus two range. So I'm going to do a four plus save. Four plus save right here. Four plus save. And I get one. I get one. So what that means is she, uh, the cannon does D6 damage. So she's going to roll that dice now. And whatever comes out is the, the number of wounds. Anything, if she gets a six, Durthu is dead. Oh, a five. A five. That means, and I'm going to put here, he, he's at 11 wounds just like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. 11 wounds. Durthu is down to one wound and one wound only. Huge. Huge. This game might be over already. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go here with the Thunders next. She has 10 shots, and they have 22-inch range. 22-inch range, so let's see kind of where we're going to go. So what is in range? We kind of pre-measured before. So everybody is in range. So you can choose to go against anybody. Durthu again. Durthu is about to go down, I think. Um, ten. That's going to be ten shots, and we're going to be hold on hitting on fours, wounding on threes, fours and threes. And we're looking at the red dice. Let me. I'm doing my best here to give you a good, a good show of what's happening. And four pluses, and she hits on seven dice. Durthu is going to be dead in a minute. Threes to wound. Oh, wow. Uh, that is four wounds. Four wounds on Durthu. They have a minus one rend. So the three plus goes to a two plus because he's in cover. But it goes back to a three plus because of the minus one rend. So I have four dice. I need three pluses here, all of them, or Durthu is dead. And we get, hold on, hold on, three pluses, three pluses. All three pluses. Hold on. Win. So we are alive still. Uh, no firewood yet. No firewood yet. So we got four down. And next we're going to go here to the uh, Iron Drakes. So the Iron Drakes have 18. Let's pre-measure real quick again to confirm. That's going to be 18 range. So what can they hit? Wait, uh, you go from, from, from the front there. So right there. So they can pretty much hit either the Treekin, let me show you there, sorry, the Treekin, or the Dryads. Where do you want to go? So, um, as a quick reminder here, so the, the Treekin have a 3 plus save. I <laughs> make a nice chair. We'll see about that. Sylvanith are going are to kick some butt now in a second. So, basically, our Treekin over here are in cover. So their 4 plus save becomes a 3 plus save. And over there, the 5 plus save of the, of the uh, Dryads becomes a 4 plus save because of... Um, why? Because of um, they are a unit of more than 12. So I would... In, so I think she's going to go the Dryads. So going for the Dryads. So that means 
uh, first, first, the troll hammer torpedo. So that is just one dice, and it's going to be a three plus to hit and three plus to wound for extra damage. Does hit. So uh, let's do it again for let's see if it wounds. Need a three plus to wound the troll hammer torpedo, and it's a four. So that means uh, troll hammer torpedo hits. That's a minus two to the save. So the four plus becomes a six plus. Oof, does not, I don't get it, I get a 5, so that means it's d3 wounds because the Dryads are not a monster. So, roll the dice and it's d3 d three wounds, d3 wounds, let's see what we get. Oh, oh. 4, so that's 2 wounds, so 2 Dryads immediately go down. So I'm just going to put them back there, actually no, they, they do not take Battle Shock because they have Inspiring Presence, so I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. So two went down, we still have 12. And now the rest, because they did not move, they get double the shots. So that means nine shots just became 18 shots. So we need 18 dice. I think our Sylvanith are in trouble. Let me know in the chat box who you think is going to win this game. Who do you think is going to win this game? So 18. We need 18. And she's getting getting them all up. That's a lot of dice. 18 going against the Dryads. 3 plus a hit. 3 plus 2 wound. Boom. Alright, so let's take out all the 1s and 2s. I'm shooting for the dwarves. It's Thunderflux. Thank you, Thunderflux. That's, uh, that could very well be the case. Three, all right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Let's go for the wounds now. Can you give me an overview of the table? Yes, I can. Let's let's move up. I'm trying here to show you. So this is the, the highest I can go with the camera while still connected to the computer. So we have, it's a three by three table. And we have here on this side, uh, the dwarves with the cannon, the grudge thrower, a, a unit of five iron breakers. 10 Thunderers, 10 Iron Drakes, and a Rune Lord. And then on the other side, as you were, we were showing, the Tree Lord Ancient, Durthu, a unit of 3 Treekin, and a, what was a unit of 14 Dryads, now down to 12. And by the way, these two, uh, we're counting them as uh, Sylvanith Woods instead of Normal Woods. Just, I don't have the Sylvanith model. So, alright, so let's, um, let's keep moving here. So, 18... 18 shots initially from the Iron Drakes resulted in 8 hits. And we're going to re-roll that and see if we how many wounds. We need 3 pluses here for the wounds. Alright, so 3, only 1, 2. Is this an old one? Alright, yeah, so that means that is 7 wounds. 7 wounds on the Dryads. They still have at least 12 so the 5 plus save becomes a 4 plus save. So I need 4 pluses here. Let's move this one. So I need 4 pluses. And let me move around. There we go. 4 pluses. And I get only 2 fails. So that's actually a very good roll for me. So 2 more go down though. So I'm taking them out. 2 more go down. All right, and that is it for the shooting phase. Uh, do we have any any charges to declare here? No, no, and then uh, no combat, of course. So that means we are on to. Oh, actually, uh, there is no battle shock because they were they had inspiring presence. So we go on. That is the bottom of turn one, and we go on to turn two. So we're gonna roll. I'm gonna roll my silver dice. She's she's gonna roll one red dice, and let's see who gets. To start turn two. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That just happened. That's a four and a one. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see this one very well. The silver dice. Four and a one. So that means dwarves get to go first in turn two. And uh, we're, I think we're in some trouble here. Let's see what we can do. Um, 
So hero face again. So a rune lord on a two plus can give minus one rend to make um, to decrease the the save. Going again with the force. So again. Now action towards. Uh, the other one. All right. So, but first we need to roll one dice on a two plus. The grudge throw is going to get a, a minus one rend. Gets it. So now we're up to a minus three rend on the catapult. Ouch. All right. Um, inspiring presence on on the unit of thunders, and we're on to move uh, movement. Is anybody gonna move? Nobody's gonna move. So dwarves are playing dwarf, not moving, staying put, and just waiting. Um, so that is the movement phase. We go on to the shooting phase yet again. So what are we going to do here? Catapult going for Durthu. The, the, to Durthu. All right. So the catapult, the grudge throw is going to go against Durthu. That is two shots. Two. And we need three pluses here. Oh, but the catapult does hate Durthu. So we can reroll that too. Ooh, and doesn't get it. So this is just going to be one. We need three plus again. So it hits. Does it wound? Three plus. It does wound with a six. So again, Durthu comes with a three plus save. Because he's in cover, that's a two plus save. But with a minus three rend, becomes a five plus save. Five plus save. Where's there, there? There's my hand. Five plus save or else Durthu is dead. Can we get a five plus save here? No! So there went Durthu without doing a single swing. Goodbye, Durthu. Wow. All right. That hurt. Um, cannon next. On to who? The Tree Lord Ancient, alright. So onto the Ancient, that's two shots, needing four pluses. Um, we get a six and a three, but she can re-roll it. Let's see, the Dwarves will have a warm home tonight, yes, indeed. So six, can we get, um... Oh no, so she doesn't get it, so only one. Need two plus there now on that one, two plus, two wound. Do we get it? She does get it, so that's a two. Um, let's see, minus two rend. So again, the Tree Lord Ancient also has a three plus save. Let me put there it is. There's a Tree Lord Ancient. Three plus save becomes a two plus save because he's in cover. Minus two means a four plus save. So let's let's see. Where's my hand? There's my hand. Four plus save here. Oh, we don't get it today. The dice are not with us. So that means it's d6 wounds, so let's roll that dice, and the number that comes out is going to be the number of wounds on our friend the Tree Lord Ancient. It's cocked, do it again. And four, so four wounds already on our Tree Lord Ancient. And he has eight left. So next uh, we have, who's coming next? The Thunders are going to go next. And remember they have the 22 inch range, so they can go anywhere they want to go. Back to the Tree Lord Ancient then. That's 10 shots. I'm going to try to give you here. There, there they are. 10 shots. Oh, and are these... These are part of it? Yeah. Let me. I'm going to move these dice a little bit. So we need 4 pluses. So 1, 2s, and 3s go away. Well then, let's. Do you want to re-roll it again? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna take one out because there there was an extra one that we don't know where it came from. So let's confirm. We're counting, counting. There we go. Ten. We're gonna re-roll. So four pluses. Wow. So four pluses. Let's take out the one, twos, and threes. Here's a two. Wow. Um, threes to wound now. So let's do it again. Threes to wound. Oh, I'm trying to give you a good look here. They all all wound. Wow. All right. Um, so I'm just going to grab these same dice. And this is going to be 
They have a minus one rend. Let me try to, they have a minus one rend, the Thunderers. So we have three plus here. I need three pluses. Oh, come on. Really? I actually fail more than I get. So that's uh, going to be four wounds. Four wounds, four more wounds on Tree Lord Ancient. So that from eight, from four, we're going to go to eight wounds. Wow. And I'm still, like, noted, look at the difference between the dwarves and the Sylvanith. So I'm not even close. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Iron Drakes are coming up next. And that's the last one to shoot. So we, we have our Troll Hammer Torpedo. So that's going to be a one, one, one uh, dice. Three plus and three plus. And where are we going? Are we going against, I think, over there? Yeah. All right. So against the Dryads, three plus to hit. Let's see if we get it. Troll Hammer Torpedo coming through. No. So then now we go, because the other didn't move, it's again 18 shots. 18 shots from the Iron Drakes because of the, because they didn't move. Oh, we lost a die. Hold on, guys. I'm going to give you a quick look of the battlefield while I get it. All right, there we go. Sorry for that. So 18 shots here from the Iron Tricks, threes to hit, threes to wound. So let's take out all the ones and twos. Take out all the ones and twos, which are like none. So I think our good friends, uh, the Dryads, are about to go down very quickly. So that's a whole lot of hits. Let's see how many wounds. Let's roll again, and we need three pluses. Three pluses, and that's a lot of... Oof. Alright, so the Iron Drakes have a minus one rend. So our... So this is going to be five plus. Be Ooh, hold on, because they're no longer a unit of 12. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're no longer a unit of 12. That means they don't get the extra, the extra save. So the five plus becomes a six plus. Six plus here on these... Or else they're going to be very dead. I need at least a couple sixes. Let's see. One! One! So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is basically everybody except the nymph just died. Oh! Wow! Well, that's uh, that's that's put, puts us in a tough spot there. Wow, yeah, wow, lol, exactly. That is what I'm thinking. So, we're at the bottom of turn one, or no, turn two here, and the, the dwarves have zero deaths. Let me pan here a little bit. Zero deaths here. Everybody just—they uh, haven't even moved. On the other hand, my Tree Lord Ancient has already 8 wounds. Treekin are intact, and I'm down to 1 Dryad. Quite a start here. Let me take this time real quick to tell you thank you for joining. Thank you for joining the game. I appreciate this support, or we appreciate this support here. LiveWa.com offers a live... Warhammer action all the time, whether it is games like this one, painting sessions, Blood Bowl, uh, soon Total War Warhammer when it comes out. We do this all the time, every week, bring you the best quality content that we can put out, um, and always, always live. So we appreciate your support, appreciate your comments, and your interaction and engagement. So be sure to follow the channel if you like it. Thank you, Thunderflux, for the follow. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. And we're going to move over to turn 2 for Sylvanith. I'm not even sure what to do. How do I come back from this? you have any idea? If you have any idea of how Sylvanith here can come back from 
that kind of damage in the two turns. And there we go. This is just a quick uh, look of the of the of the battleground. Um, and let's keep going here. So, ha! Huh. All right, over to the hero phase for us. And our hero is dead, our general is dead, so that means our wizard here can choose to do something. And what we're going to do is give, he's going to give himself. Accidentally flip the table? Yes, I think that's a good idea. Uh, so we're going to try to give Mystic Shield onto the himself. So we need a five. Or is it a six? Hold on, hold on, let me confirm that. Um, can, can you give me that paper? Is it a five or a six? Uh, here, here. By the way, the rules. Can't remember if it's a five or a six. Mystic Shield is on a six. You can add one to all save rolls for the unit. Well, actually, that's not that's not going to do anything because we don't play here with. Uh, he can't get a one plus save. He already has a two plus save. So, um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go to a one plus save. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it back to the tree and we need a six and we get ten and let me know guys if you are able to easily see uh, the color of like what comes out with these uh, silver dice because w w when I look at them here um, on the screen it doesn't look as clear as I I think they do so uh, let me know otherwise uh, our treekin are gonna have our mystic shield so they go from a four plus save to a three plus save and now to a two plus save because of the cover uh, and now we're gonna go on to movement I don't even know what to do so get, they're fine thank you Thunderflux I don't even know what to do here Sorry for the silence here, because I, I, there's no way, if you see, like, I'm going to try to show you, that I can go from there all the way here in one turn. And a run would put me somewhere around here in the middle. And what that means is I am just cannon fodder here, just to get shot to pieces. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, this is what I'm going to try and do. Can we pre-measure, help me pre-measure to see the difference... Uh, you know, from here, for the Trican to run to the other cover. The shortest distance, let's see, shortest distance to go from there to the other one is about, I'm going to say, 11 inches. 10 to 11 inches. They move, let me see, hold on, hold on. They move 6. So I need a, even if it's 10 inches, or let Oh wow, this is gonna be tough. All right, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna. I need to try this, or else I'm. You know, I'm. It's just good game. So um, we said a 10, 10 or eleven inches. They move six, so I need a four plus here. Four plus. Come on, four plus. Actually, I probably need a five because the whole unit needs to be in here. So we need a five. Can we get a five? Five. Give me a five. Yes. A six. So we're going to go ahead and move. Um, can you help me um, measure here 12 inches? So 12 inches means I'm going to move right over there. Over there. And over there. So they made it to the other woods, huge, huge for me, to continue getting cover. Uh, and now that the Lone Dryer moves seven, that is more than enough to move in here. So she's just going to move into cover as well. And last but not least, what do we do with our friend Tree Lord Ancient here? Uh, he is just going to move to the edge here. And that's going to be it. He's still, you know, in, in technically, you know, touching there the cover. So he's still going to get the 2 plus save. 
but at least it's a little bit closer. So, with that, we are going to go over to... So that was a movement phase, shooting phase. Let's see if we can... Let me see here. So our tree, tree man Ancient has an 18-inch range with a missile weapon. Let me see if this is within 18, 18 inches here. Let's see. Let's measure this one. He is. He is within 18 inches. So we're going to go... Uh, are we able... Let me see... Let me grab this. Are we able to go to the cannon? Yes. Hmm. So we're going to try to go for the cannon. So the cannon hurts. Actually, she ha he has eight wounds. So let's see. Let's go for the cannon. This is going to be, let's see, uh, one attack with eight wounds. It's, oh, a five plus to hit. We need a five plus here to hit. We get a six and uh, a three plus two wound. Three plus two wound here. Can we get a three plus? Ha! Of course, win. So we don't do anything in the shooting phase, and that is it for a shooting phase. We ran. Um, you know, there's no charges. There's no combat. So that is it for turn two for Sylvaneth. And let me show you a little bit the um, how the battlefield stands right now. The dwarves have not even moved. I've not done anything at all. And they are very close to a victory here on the right side. Tree Lord Ancient is in cover. And then we have our unit of Treekin plus uh, the one lonely dryad that is still alive. Durthu is dead, as are 13 other dryads. So this is uh, getting getting tough. Can we turn this around? Let's see if we can. First, we need to roll for turn three. So I'm going to roll the gray dice, silver dice. She's going to roll the red dice. If she gets it, I think we're in deep trouble. Oh, no, it doesn't count. doesn't count. doesn't count. Let's see. A four. Can we get anything higher than a four? I want to Let me know in the chat box if you think we can get something higher than a four. Can we get something higher than a four? I think we can. Here we go. And three... Two. Nope. Oh, we get a one. All right. Um, of course. That that's been uh, our our day today, right? All right. Um. Wow. I think we're in big big trouble here. Let's see if we can even survive this. The game might be over here. Let's see. Um, hero face again. As always, our rune lord can choose on a two plus to give somebody minus one rend. So the catapult. The catapult again. So that's uh, we need a two plus to give the grudge thrower an extra um, an extra rend. Can we get it? Two plus one dice. Two plus. We get a five. So that's minus two rend. Like, so, uh, like now this catapult here has minus three rend. And we go on to the movement phase. Is anybody going to move? Um, no one's nobody's moving again. So that, uh, that is going to hurt. And we go on to the shooting phase. Our shooting phase here, what are we going to do? We're going to do... So we're going to use a grudge thrower uh, against the Treeman Ancient. And that's going to be a... Th um, two dice, and she's going to need a three plus a hit. Let's see if we get him. Uh, we cannot reroll this time because you don't hate him. So this is no rerolls. You hated Durthu. So that's a three plus, one dice. She does get it. Let's try another. Three plus. So we hit. Now we're going to go ahead and wound. Does not get it. So the catapult, the grudge thrower, does nothing. Who's next? The cannon. So we're going to go with the cannon. This is going to be two shots, four plus a hit. And we get none, but you can re-roll it because of the engineer. And one does hit. Does it wound? We need a two plus there. And does not. 
it does not wound, so it, it looks like luck is starting to change here, or turn. So, nothing to do here. Can um, Grimber Luxon here, potentially, he has an 18 or 16 inch range. Do you want to measure? And win is 33. Welcome to the stream. Uh, when you say ugly, is it the... Um, the uh, um, the quality of the camera. Let me know. What what was the range? So sixteen. So he can hit. So he has d six shots. So let's roll the dice, and the result is the number of shots that we get. Four. So let's grab four dice. Then four shots. He's gonna hit on threes. So that is three, and wound on threes as well. All three, all three wound. So that means uh, that's a minus one ren. So that means we're gonna grab these. Our friend, the Tree Lord Ancient, he has a three plus save that is gonna move immediately to a two plus save because he's in cover. Uh, with the minus one ren, he goes back to three plus save. So three dice here, three plus save for the Tree Lord Ancient. And we get three fives. Clutch! So three, um, he's okay, nothing happens. And we continue moving on then to our, who's next? The Thunderers. Thunderers are ten shots. Who are they going against? For the Tree Lord Ancient. So that's going to be a three, that's ten 10 dice, 10 shots, needing a 4 plus a hit and a 4 and a 3 to wound. Oof. So let's see where where we land. 4s, so 1, 2s and 3s go away. 1, 2s and 3s go away. So that means 4 hits. Now we need 3s to wound. And that is 1 goes away, so that is 3 wounds onto our Tree Lord Ancient. They have minus 1 Ren, so again, 3 plus becomes a 2 plus, becomes back to a 3 plus. Oops, so we need 3 plus here to save. Oh, we save all 3, so nothing happens again. Yeah, yeah, so we are, um, things are starting to look up for us. Next up, um, we have the Troll Hammer Torpedo, and that's going to be 1 dice, and Hichi's going to need a 3 plus to hit. Gets it, and now a 3 plus to wound. Oh, that one. Let's try again. Does not hit, so Troll Hammer Torpedo does not hit. So now, because the Iron Drakes did not move, that means it's 18 shots again. And who are we going to go against? This is 3 plus. We're going to need 3 plus and 3 plus. Welcome everybody to the stream, livewa.com. Streaming live. Here, uh, a tabletop game of Dwarves versus Sylvaneth. We're on turn 3 now. 18 shots for the Iron Drakes. 1s and 2s. So anything that is not a 1 and 2 stays. Any 1 or any 2 will go away. So she's kind of moving there. Alright, so we next up is 3s uh, to wound. So let's take out all the ones and twos. That's a. We have five ones onto our Tree Lord Ancient. And they have a minus one Ren. So again, a three plus save becomes a two plus save for cover, but then goes back to a three plus save because of the Ren. Five wounds. We need three pluses here. And we get. We fail two. We make three. So that means. From 8 wounds that he had, 8 plus 2 is 10. So there's still 2 more wounds to go on our Tree Lord Ancient. And that is going to be it. Anything else to do? No. So that is it for Dwarf turn 3. We go over to Sylvaneth turn 3. And before I go there, I'm going to pause for one second and see if, if you have any questions about what is going on or where we're at. Uh, do let us know. If you have questions about the board, the armies, or what has transpired so far, let us know. 
a quick uh, 30 second break here before we go on to turn three for Sylvaneth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down for just one second and show you here our dwarf farming. So uh, this is just a 30 second break before we keep moving. Let us know if you have any questions or any comments. Let us know in the chat box. Let's see, so all right. Um and I had a drink somewhere, where I don't know where it went. Oh there it is. Um hold on guys, one second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, Thunderflux wants to know, do you stream war games often? Uh, we are a Warhammer themed um, channel. So what, we do all kinds of Warhammer content. Well, it is live painting sessions. Uh, live tabletop games like you're seeing today. A Blood Bowl on the Xbox. Soon we're going to be doing Total War Warhammer and Vermintide The End Times. Uh, that's going to be coming soon. So we do um, everything Warhammer related. We don't do 40k, uh, but we are going to do Age of Sigmar games as, uh, at least if we can every weekend. Because they do take a little bit longer. So today you are watching a 51 game of Sylvaneth vs. Dwarf. We are going to try for tomorrow also at 1pm to do a different game. Uh, but that one is being played in a new location that I haven't streamed for them. So we might have issues. Total War, looking forward to it. Yes, with the fans, I am uh, I am too. So you can expect a lot, uh, a lot of streaming there. So tomorrow at 1 p.m. we're playing another game. Uh, but again, it's in a new location that I haven't streamed from. So uh, supposedly they have Wi-Fi. There's Wi-Fi there, so we should be able to stream it. But I don't want to advertise it w too much because, you know, something could go wrong. Um, and, you know, that would suck. But if so, if you're free tomorrow at 1 p.m., uh, do check the channel in case we're able to do it. And if not, next week, we're um, going to have another game here. Um, that's probably going to be Sylvaneth versus Tomb Kings. So, uh be sure to visit our website www.livewaagh.com. What time zone? Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. We're going to try for another game if we can do it. Um, and then next week, I'm not sure if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday, but we're also going to do at 1 p.m. Um, another game. So that's our goal is to kind of like set a certain time. Same time as today. Yes, same time as today. Same, same time as today. And tomorrow's game, if we can stream it, I think it's going to be a bigger game. All right. So, let's uh, let's continue. Let's continue here. And we are going to just... I'm going to pick up the camera. I'm sorry for the movement there a little bit. All right, so... Um, before the mini break here, we turn three for dwarves had um, they went they shot everything at the tree lord ancient. He was able to save a whole lot of wounds, but he still has ten, so that, that limits a lot of what he can do. Then we still have our three treekin that have not uh, incurred any wounds whatsoever, and then the lone dryad over there. That's all we've got left, and we somehow need to kill this entire dwarf army. Let's see what we can do. Let's get started, though. And this is going to be... Um, let's see. Let's get started here. Hero phase. Our general is dead, so no general um, ability. But we do have our Tree Lord Ancient here. He is a wizard. And what we're going to do is give... I'm going to try to Arcane Bolt. Let me see. And I'm trying to give you a good look here over the tree. So Arcane Bolt has a casting value of 5. It's specifically cast, pick an enemy... And it suffered D3 mortal wounds. So, 
Uh, we are gonna go. We're gonna go for the iron breakers here. We are within 18 inches, so that means we're gonna roll two dice here. Where's my hand? There's my hand. Uh, two dice here. We need a five to cast arcane bolt on the iron breakers, and we get a seven. So that means D3 mortal wounds on the iron breakers, and here comes. Oh, it's a five. So that is three, three wounds. So that means three iron breakers will go down. One, two, and the musician, let's say. So that is three wounds on to our iron breakers. So they are gone. And that is it for our hero phase. Let's go on to our movement phase. And this is going to prove um, quite important so let's let me grab this so we're gonna kind of pre-measure thank you very much that's good so we are right now if you can see let me try to show you we are six inches away from being able to uh, yeah six inches away from the iron drakes so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just move up to just outside of three inches for the charge So there, move the Treakin. The Dryad moves 7 inches. So she's going to move to probably also, I'm actually going to put her right over there, if you see. So she's just in case she still gets the cover, if she doesn't make the charge. And our Treakin, uh, excuse me, our uh, Tree Lord Ancient moves 5 inches. So let me measure here and see how far we are we are 12 inches so we are gonna go ahead and move um, I have to try it so uh, can you can you give me that again and we need to move five inches forward five inches and his ten wounds are gonna move with him as well so if you see kind of like how this is we are uh, getting close finally turn three that's how long it took for us to get close to where we want to be and uh, do we have shooting yes we do we have shooting here with our tree lord ancient he has ten wounds now so that means the one attack is gonna hit on sixes oh this is impossible I'm gonna try to do it here sorry for the movement six nope we don't get it and that is it for shooting. So we're going to go on to charging. Let's start. Why don't we start? Um, let's start with our Treakin. Our Treakin are three inches away. So they're going to need. They're going to need. Um, or, okay, I'll use these dice instead. So our Treakin need anything but a, a snake eyes to make it in. Anything but snake eyes. Oh! No! No! Um. So they don't make the charge, and they're gonna stu be stuck where they are. Um, so now we're gonna go on to our dryad. Uh, can we pre-measure this to see how much from her to the iron drakes? Uh, six. So we need a six here. Six on t on two dice. We do get it. So she does go in. Oh wow, that's just terrible. And last but not least here, the Tree Lord Ancient is 7 away. Is that, wasn't he 12? Can we just confirm if he's to the closest? 6. So 6 inches away, roughly. So I need a 6 here to make it in. And we get an 11, so that's plenty. Plenty, and we are going to go in with our 10 wounds and incredible that we we got double ones so that our tree can did not make it in that is huge that is pretty much says that we're gonna lose here so uh, that's that let's go on to combat in combat this is so hard because either way this is gonna hurt anyway um, let me see how does how all right 
we're gonna go here first with our tree lord ancient he has 10 wounds so his attacks are not gonna be as strong as before so, so let's see the first one sweeping talents number of attacks is gonna be one three plus and three plus so one attack here we get a four so it does hit and we need three to wound and we get a four so it does wound minus one rend these thunders have a five plus save five plus save so that means one die and we need a five to save does not get it but luckily uh, they have shield so they can reroll it so let's try it again five actually no I'm sorry it's not a five plus save it's a six plus save six plus save here and a four so that means she does not save it and that is d6 wounds so let's see d6 wounds come on four so four go down one two three four all right and now you choose um she can choose to activate one of his units one of these two are going to be able to which one do you want to go for first yes all right so how many here you have to make a decision and i'm going to explain this like she knows what she has to do but i'm going to explain it um for everybody else here so she can choose to pile in here right with her units say, as as like that or like so right the problem is that if she does that then she is going to be within three inches of my tree king so she has to make a decision if she wants to shoot with she wants to go back with maybe four guys and not bring our tree king in or go with everybody almost but bring our tree king in what is your decision So again, basically it's either only four attacks, and sorry, there we go, only four attacks back to the Dryad, and our tree can do not get into combat, or ten attacks on the Dryad, but our tree can get in. What would you do? Let, let us know in the chat room if you have a, an opinion. Alright, so she's going to go with four, so she's not going to fully pile in. So that means four attacks, and th these are four pluses, and she makes two, and now we're going to do five pluses, and we lost a die there, so hold on a second, so five pluses, and let's try it again. Five pluses. She gets one. Uh, no rendo. So the uh, this is going to be. Let me just confirm. Five plus save. So no rend. Five plus save. I need a five to remain alive. Five. No, we get a three. So she goes down. Our nymph just went down before she could even attack. And that is it for us. So she's going to go back with her Thunderers now. And that's going to be six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six attacks. And six attacks, hitting on fours, winning on fives. All right, so three hits. And we're winning on fives. We need fives now. And nothing. So that is going to be it for turn three. Three. That is it for turn three of this battle. We go on to the fourth and final turn of the game. And we're going to see who goes first. So I'm going to roll the, gray, uh, the silver dice again. She's going to go... Oh! She, I don't know if you can see that. She rolled a six. We need a six here to even try to re-roll again and win. Yes! So let's reroll. I get a four, she gets a yes. six! So she goes first then, 
and this is gonna probably be a little bit painful so let's see uh, how we do this so uh, on to our hero phase and our rune lord get on a 2 plus will be able to give either minus 1 rent to somebody or a shield what are we gonna choose to do? a shield no, so, we're going full damage. No. No. No, I'll do shield. No. I'll do shield on... No. I don't know. I'll just go damage on them. Alright, so that means a minus one rend. She's going to do the minus one rend onto the iron drake. So what I'm, sh I'm guessing she's going to do, and I think she's nodding here, is that she is not going to move and going to stay right there and basically shoot us in the face. So... Uh, minus one rent here, so we need a two plus for that. One roll, one die, need a two plus, and she does get it. So that means uh, minus one. They're now up to minus two rend, so that's pretty, pretty big. Um, so that is uh, the hero phase. She got it. And we go on to our movement phase. Is anybody going to move? Nope. Nobody's going to move? Okay. So we go on to our shooting phase. So let's get started. Where do you want to get started? Let's double check if the catapult is able to shoot at the uh, tree lord. One second, because uh, catapults do have um, a a minimum range. Eight. Let's measure and see if it's eight eight inches away or not. Is it more than ten inches away? Eight inches? No. What? So basically, but. But it's it's from the closest, so like right there. Yes. Yeah, so the catapult cannot, the Grudgeor cannot go after the Tree Lord Ancient. Yeah, but so it, it's gonna go after the Treekin. So that means we need three plus to hit, two block dice, three plus to to hit, two block two dice, three uh, three plus to hit, and no, uh, we're not able to reroll. So she does get one and. Now it's 3 plus to 1. And does get it. So minus 2 rend. Our tree can have a 4 plus save. And let me confirm that before I roll it. Yes, 4 plus save. 4 plus save minus 2. That means uh, 1 dies and I need a 6 plus to save. So I do get a six, so nothing happens there. And now we're who, where do we go next? The cannon is going to go after our friend the Tree Lord Ancient. So that's going to be two shots, hitting on fours, winning on twos, fours to hit, able to reroll because of the engineer. Nope. So only one hit. So we roll that one, and we need a two to hit, two wound. And she gets it. So we th that is a wound. Minus two rend on our friend here, the um, the cannon. So the three plus save that he has becomes a five plus save. So five plus save. A one. So we don't save it, and that is d6 wounds. Anything higher than a two in our tree lord is dead. Roll, and let's see what we get. A one! So we're still alive, just for the time being. Alright, so there we go. And where do we go next? Uh, we have, so let's see, let, let me just do a quick. We still have um, uh, Grim Berluxen to shoot. They can shoot, and the Iron Dress can shoot. Who goes next? So the Iron Drakes are going to go. Let's start with the Troll Hammer Torpedo. Three, one dies. Three plus two hit. Get it? Three plus two wound. And that's a six. So it does wound onto our Treekin. And I'm going to just grab one here. Um, let me think here for a second. So minus two rend. So actually, the whole unit, in theory, received the extra rend. So in theory, then, and I'm just confirming what I'm about to say here. So sorry if the camera moves a little bit. 
um, kind of reading. So, yeah, total metropy is minus two rand. So if that would mean minus three rand. Oof, so a four plus becomes unsavable, but are the tricking monsters? I don't think they are. Let's double check. They are not. So, that is d3 wounds. So roll a dice and it's d3 wounds. Five. Wow. So that's three wounds immediately on our first Shrieken. And let's go ahead and shoot with uh, the remaining unit. So again, they didn't move. So 18, nine remaining Iron Drakes, two, pl um, two shots because they're outside of three inches, plus they did not move. So that's 18 shots. And I think our Shrieken are about to get shot in the face. Three plus two one, so all the ones and twos go away, and I see a whole lot of high numbers there. Ones and twos go away, and we're, let's go ahead and roll again. Three plus two wound. Ones and twos go away again, and we are left with a whole lot of wounds. A whole lot of wounds here. They have already a minus one rend. Because of the rune lord, they have a minus two rend. So that means four plus for me becomes six plus. I need sixes here to save, or else they're going down very quickly. Oh. Any sixes? One. So let's count the number of wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wounds. So that immediately means two. Tree can just went away, and there's one left with three wounds. Um, where do we go next with the shooting? We're gonna go um, here, so that's gonna be six shots, four plus four to hit, three to wound. And I think, uh, let me know if you agree that I think we've uh, we know what's gonna happen here. Um, by the way, let me go ahead and say, Reptile29, thank you for the follow. Is that the name? Did I get it right? Cage Reptile 29 Thank you for the follow. Say hello in the chat room, please. Say hello. So we get six dice, force a hit. Force a hit. A lot of good rolls there. Threes to wound. Oof. So that's three wounds minus one rend. Minus one rend. Uh, oof. Minus one rend. So our Tree Lord Ancient that had a three save becomes a four plus save. Three. I need to make three fours here or else he's dead. Let me, you know what? Uh, let's pause for a second. Do put in the chat box if you can. If you think he can survive this. I need three dice and I need all four pluses. Let's see. Place your bets. Place your bets. Can we... Uh, is he going to survive this? I need three, four pluses. I'm going to hold for just 30 seconds while uh, everybody kind of catches up to what I'm saying. Three, four pluses. In the meantime, I'll give you a little bit of um, a look at what's happening here. Three, four pluses or else our Tree Lord Ancient is dead. Fifty fifty. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, that is three dice. Four. I need three four pluses. Th oh, hold on. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I, I lost it. All right. Three four pluses. Win. So we survive. We survive at least for a second. So he's still alive. Um, so that was shooting, shoot, so let's see, shooting, they already shot, they shot, they shot, last thing is our friend here, Grimber Luxon, D6 shots, so let's roll a die, the number is the number of attacks that he's gonna do, and one, so one attack, so let's roll one dice, three plus a hit, hits, three plus two wound, Wounds minus one rend. So I'm gonna need here a 
Let me think about this for a second. A 4 plus. Another 4 plus. Can he make it and survive the onslaught here? 4 plus? No! So that means that Grim Berluxen just killed our Tree Lord Ancient. Um, Alright, so let's go. Let's finish it. Since we're here, charge phase. Um, I'm sure she's gonna charge with every everybody. Hold on. Um, so we're, let's try to charge. Iron Drakes are gonna two. We're gonna excuse me. Roll two dice here, and we need anything except two ones. She makes it in more than you know. So let's just move them up. Do you, uh, why don't you try with them as well, just in case? Even though it's yeah five, so they all they all make it in. So this is at this point, I think. Uh, would you be okay with uh, green? That I think this is this is not gonna happen. He's down to three uh, one wound. Actually, he has three wounds on him. So I think that's gonna be it. Uh, and we are going to call it a game with a dwarf victory. So let's go ahead and shake hands as always. Where's where's eh? we wait there? Oh, they're shaking hands, and that is it for this game. Uh, dwarves win. So let's go into the post match here. I'm gonna put down the camera for just one second. Uh, on our grudge thrower, let us know if you have any questions, anything about what just happened. I'm curious to get a little bit of your feedback. Um, this is one of the first, the first, uh, the second actually, battle report here, live live stream that we do on Twitch with the equipment that we have. So if you have any feedback here, second time they win. Uh, yeah, last time we played, so on Wednesday it was kind of a tie, um, Dwarf versus Tomb Kings. Uh, today they win. Last time we played a very similar battle uh, from this one not too long ago, and it, we had the same kind of out outcome. Uh, my Sylvaneth could never even make it to the dwarves because of the shooting. The way she plays her dwarves is a a kind of like a gun line. So if you saw, she had very few iron breakers. So basically, if whoever is coming at her gets to her before she does enough damage. Uh, she's in trouble, but the problem is that uh, almost every time they just obliterate face. Um, the Iron Drakes in particular, obviously the the uh, artillery with uh, the engineer. So that is that is it for this game. Um, post match here. Let us know uh, if you have any questions about the game that you just saw. Let us know. I just don't, like. I'm guessing maybe what I could have done is uh, not chosen to go first. I mean, she did get lucky because she got two turns in a row on from turn one to turn two. No misfires. Um, actually, no. Turn three. Turn three. The cannon and the grudge throw did no damage. Um. So they. They missed everything. Uh, it was just turn one and turn two. I think we were by the end of turn two. Her turn two. Uh, Durthu was dead. The entire unit of Dryas was dead, and our ancient was down to like five five wounds left. Um, and that is with. Very, very good. I'm just here playing. There's our our rune lord. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, and, and we're considering here that our the Sylvanith army have very good saves. Both Durthu, uh, Durthu, and the Ancient have three plus saves, and they were in cover, so I made it two plus saves. But she had massive amounts of rend. Um, so every time I was saving on fives or sixes, and uh, it just wasn't enough. It, it wasn't enough. 
So let us know if you have any other questions. In the meantime, uh, LiveWar.com, uh, let me tell you a little bit if you've never heard of us. Uh, we do live Warhammer content all the time. Whether it is a tabletop game like you just watched or a... Um, uh, we do live painting sessions as well. You can probably check our channel and see a few of those. We were painting actually a good chunk of the uh, the Sylvanith army yesterday. Or we do Blood Bowl. We do Blood Bowl on the Xbox Plus this year, uh, later this year, Total War Warhammer and Vermintide The End Times. All those games coming soon and all of it live on Twitch. So I do appreciate the support. Be sure to subscribe and follow us if you like Warhammer, if you like the content that we put out. Um, and please let us know if you have any questions about the feed, about the game, about what we just watched. And let me move here. That's Grimber Luxon. There's Grim. Uh, any questions about the feed or anything I will answer, or anything about the game... Uh, that is the end of the game. I, I, well, by turn four, I mean turn two, we were dead. I see a lot of you guys joining now. Uh, the game just finished with a dwarf victory. Uh, it wasn't full table, but it was very close to tabling. Um, and that's it. That's it, and that's going to be the the game for today. Uh, we'll see what we do later on. We might paint. We might um, do blood bowl. We might do something. The main thing is tomorrow. Coney the phony, how are you? A, li a little bit late here to the stream. The game just ended. Just ended. Uh, as I was saying, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Same time as today. 1 p.m. Eastern. That makes it uh, 10 p.m. West Coast time. And depending on where you're at in Europe, that would probably make it 6, 7 p.m. your time. Um... We are gonna, we are gonna play uh, another game. Now the truth is that I am playing this uh, tomorrow's game. I'm playing it in a brand new location that I've never streamed from uh, before. So it is possible that that uh, doesn't quite work out. Um, so I'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, make that work. If we can, look for a game at 1 p.m. Eastern, and I think it's gonna be. I know our opponent, I think, is playing Ogres. And we are we got to see who we bring. Dwarves or Tomb Kings. Can you show us your Tomb Kings? Yes. Yes, I can. Hold on. And by the way, uh, we have a bigger Dwarf army. Um, but we what we have found here on Twitch is... Um, the best games are about maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Once you start getting longer than that, I know some people like drop off because obviously there's things to do. So we could play a bigger game. Uh, I think 50 Wounds is, is, is a pretty nice game because there's enough to do damage. Um, but it's also not huge. We've played here, not streamed, but uh, we've played 70 or 80 Wound games or, or 90 Wound games. And those can get a little bit long. So... Let me see if I can show you a little bit of the Tomb Kings that we have. Some of it is not fully, fully, fully painted. So let me just set it up real quick without moving the camera just for a second. In the meantime, if you're just joining, we just played a live game uh, of Age of Sigmar here live on Twitch. Dwarves versus Sylvanith. And Sylvanith. Uh, went down as somebody said I think Thunderflux I don't know if you're still with us yes you are um, they became um, chopped wood very very quickly um, not the not what we wanted there um, so that wasn't quite um quite the outcome that we wanted dwarves uh, if you're wondering about the armies, I know some of you probably are. If you, in case you came late, basically the dwarves. This is this was a 50 wound game, and I'm not gonna show you the entire army of uh, tomb kings because if you know tomb kings, there's skeletons, 
And I have uh, 40 skeletons, which I'm not going to put down right now. Um, so let, give me just one second. As I continue kind of searching for our, uh, our units. So just one second. I don't know where the champions are. So if you were just joining us, we played a 51 game up to two heroes and up to two war machines or monsters. Um, dwarves fielded uh, one cannon, one grudge thrower. Sorry, I'm, I, as I'm speaking, I'm also putting down some units uh, to share with, uh, with everybody here on the feed of the Tomb Kings. So... The the dwarves fielded one cannon, one grudge thrower, obviously with Grim Berluxen, uh, two less than an inch away for the bonuses, one rune lord, five iron breakers, ten thunderers, and ten iron drakes. And that was uh, enough to beat our um, our Sylvanith army, which consisted of Durthu. A tree lord ancient. So here, I'm. Gonna, I, I don't have everything quite painted, um, but I'm gonna just very quickly share with you what we have, um, what I was able to quickly collect, because um, everybody's kind of put away. So let me take you through the army here of tomb kings, and uh, we have skeletons. A lot of them, if you you know, Tomb Kings, because Tomb Kings. Uh, here I'm showing you two archers. In reality, we have uh, 20 warriors with spears. And this is, uh, uh, here you see a unit of 10. Usually, age, age of Sigmar, I don't play with anything under 25, 30, or 35 units, or models per unit. A uh, unit of 10 Tomb Guard. A unit of 3... Um, uh, uh, chariot and here we're still painting our casket of souls we have a leech priest and then I also have a necrotect um, some horses Maybe just angle this up a little bit there you see it um, horse archers have a necrotect uh, Tomb King and I think that's it probably gotta grow it a little bit a lot of painting to do but at least it's assembled yes yes a lot of painting still to do um, I kind of I've always been a fan of, of painting them white so if you see like uh, these guys are kind of like a white and gold scheme um, Obviously, our uh, casket of soul here has a whole lot of painting to be done, and that will be done soon. And there are um, tomb guard, our um, chariots, and our warriors here with. And the camera's not focusing properly, but that's uh, our warriors with spears. So that's uh, those are our armies here. So again, tomorrow we're gonna uh, 1 p.m. same time as today. We're gonna try to do another one. This is gonna be ogres versus. I'm not entirely sure. We might go with our dwarves or tomb kings. Dwarf or tomb? Not enough. I don't have enough wounds on the Sylvaneth to play that game. Um. I think and plus transporting them is gonna hurt so um, probably we're gonna go dwarves versus ogres probably tomorrow dwarf or tomb kings versus ogres at 1 p.m. Eastern Center time again doing it from a brand new location that we need to confirm if we can stream if we can you'll see it if you don't see it it's because we ran into technical difficulties trying to stream it for right now for today this game is over um, dwarves beat the sylvanith in uh, what was pretty much a tabling.
So unless anybody has any questions, we're going to go ahead and end the stream here. Here are the dice. And that's going to be what I'm going to leave you with. Uh, somebody, a unit of 10 skeleton uh, warriors with spears and full command. Thank you with the fans. Thank you, Thunderflux. Thank you all for joining. And I, I certainly hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any um, recommendations or in, any feedback on, hey, you know what, for next game, can you try X? Uh, let us know. We're trying to improve. Um, a live game is a little bit harder than, you know, you might think uh, because you are trying to do everything with one hand. Um... So I mean, I, I do welcome your feedback. I know um, we had somebody that came in at one point and said that the uh, it wasn't looking uh, very nice. And I don't know if that was the resolution, if it was just the camera moving. So if there's uh, if you have any feedback for us, we'll take it. Otherwise, uh, I do thank you for uh, joining us. I hope to see you tomorrow if we can stream it. If not, next week we'll have another game. Subscribe here to the channel on Twitch. Visit us at www.livewaaaaagh.com. Uh, some battlefield overview at the start of each turn might be nice. Thank you, Thunderflux. I will keep that in mind and do that. And uh, I, again, I certainly hope that we can um, bring you more battles. To do that, you know, it, it's just a matter of support. I, I know you guys. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If we continue seeing, yeah, the camera moving make it a little hard to see, but I still enjoy it. So I'm going to do my best to try and, um, and minimize the movement of the camera as much as I can. And uh, this is a work in progress, so we'll, we'll try to get better uh, each time. And uh, one, one last look here at the battlefield with our dwarves, the tomb kings. Oh, and dice balls, they always roll within view. All right. Fair enough. We can do that as well. We can do that as well. So thank you, everybody. If you, um, if you want to support the channel, we do have a donation link um, on Twitch. We appreciate any support and all... Anything and everything goes towards new armies so that we can bring you uh, more units and, and bigger games um, if you are at the point of considering that. Otherwise, uh, your support and you watching is more than enough. Thank you. I hope you have a great evening. Um, and I, again, 1 p.m. tomorrow if we can. And if not next week, every day uh, throughout the week, usually late at night, we'll have uh, some painting in Blood Bowl. So thank you, Thunderflux, for the support. Thank you with the fans. Again, I certainly hope to see you again. Have a great rest of your day. And for anybody joining, the game is over. Dwarves beat the Sylvanith. Um, join us again tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, for another game.